Hello, people, Space Games, watch my show. My name is Just Time, and welcome to The Hunger Game. Dude, I'm not playing a video game of The Hunger Games. It's a simulator. I'll put a link in the description in case you want to do it. Uh, but we're looking at, we're going to be looking at the reaping. We're going to look at all the, all the tributes that I selected. Oh, I should inform you. This is just trying to do, like, a funny, like, what-if scenario uh, with these, because by the, by, by District 10, I kind of was just, like, I don't know what else to put. So, uh, this is going to be a funny what if story type scenario, I guess. So, uh, starting with District 1, we have the Time Brothers. We have Justin Time and Bro Time. If you didn't know, Bro Time is my biological brother. District 2, we have my best friend, Brandon. His, his icon is Scary Brandon. He used to be known as Scary Brandon. Now he's just Brandon on YouTube. Anyways and Kodak. District 3 is Josh and Liam of Potentially Unemployed. Can find the actual Potentially Unemployed. If you look up, if you Google Potentially Unemployed in Google Images, you will just get articles about all the unemployment that's going on in the U.S. Same with District 4, but we have Sam and Zach. District 5, we have Poison Friend 13 and Josh of Zombie Shredder on YouTube. You've seen Josh if you watched the first charity live stream that I've ever held. District 6, we have Markiplier and Crank Gameplays. <laughs> Cause this is where I got the idea from. I just watched Luna Science video and I thought it'd be a funny, funny thing. Okay, so District 7 through 8, I looked through my subscriptions on YouTube, so District 7 are the musicians, Cave Town and Billie Eilish. Yeah, you get those clicks, you know what I mean? District 8 is the BuzzFeed Unsolved Boys. Ryan Bugara and Shane Medane. I even use Shane's meme. Uh, District 9. Oh, I could have done the movie. But District 9, we have Cosplay Chris, who is a cosplay YouTuber from Australia. And I really like his content. I think he's funny, and I think his content's very informative. If you're into cosplay, you should watch him. And uh, then we have Dream. Dream's a YouTuber. You may have seen his content around the time that PewDiePie brought life back into my Minecraft game or YouTube. Uh, he does he does some interesting stuff. Uh but ten through twelve, I had a little fun. In District Ten we have Kakashi and Obito Uchiha. <laughs> I couldn't think of anyone else. Shut up. District eleven we have Goku and Vegeta. See if logically we're done but District Twelve has the Lord of Hell himself, Lucifer, and his love interest, Detective Chloe Decker. Actually, now that I think about it, that's a horrible teaming up because he gets vulnerable when around her. But hey, whatever. So we have our districts, we have our tributes. Time to proceed. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Josh! Runs away from the cornucopia. Smart move, Josh. Smart move. Bro time runs away from the cornucopia. Good job, Jacob. Let's hope that I'm smart. Cave Town retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. He's already got a weapon. Holy shit. Cosplay Chris, Chloe, and Kakashi work together to get as many supplies as possible. They're teaming up. Wow. Zach rips a mace out of Liam's hands. <laughs> Holy shit, Zach. Sam runs away from the cornucopia. Smart. Kodak runs away from the cornucopia. Smart. Lucifer runs away with a lighter and some rope. That sounds very like him. Poison Friend 13 is scary. Brandon fight for a bag. Scary Brain gives up and retreats. Live to fight another day, Brandon. Live to fight another day. Markiplier runs away from the co cornucopia. Smart. Goku breaks Josh's nose for a basket of bread. <laughs> Holy shit. First injury of the day. Of the day. Shane grabs a jar of fishing bait while Vegeta gra gets fishing gear. Ryan runs away from the cornucopia. I run away from the cornucopia. Thank god we're smart. Billie Eilish grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia. Uh, at least she has defense. Obito runs away from the cornucopia. Smart. Dream repeatedly stabs Crank gameplays to death with size. Wow. <laughs> He's already gone. <laughs> Fuck our first death. Day one. Sam stalks Markiplier. <laughs> that sounds. That actually sounds like Sam. Now that I think about it. Billie Eilish receipt. 
Receives fresh fruit food from Raid Shadow Legends. Chloe discovers a cave. Scary Brandon practices his archery. Vegeta goes hunting. I search for a water source. Obito receives explosives from him. From Unknown sponsor. Poison Friend 13 goes hunting. Josh begs Dream to kill him. <laughs> he refuses, keeping Josh alive. Kashi explores the arena. That sounds like something a shinobi would do anyways. Kodak tries to sleep through an, the entire day. Bold move, Eli. Bold move. Shane, Liam, Bro Time, Goku, and Cave Town hunt for other tri tributes. Possibly Chris receives medical supplies from domain.com. Try to think of sponsors. I don't just want to say unknown sponsor. Josh collects fruit from a tree. Make sure it's not poisonous. Okay. Lucifer and Ryan work together for it for the day. Zack questions his sanity. One cannon could be heard in the distance. Crank gameplays of District 6. The everyone's status. Far we only have one. Everyone else is alive. I'm sorry, crank gameplays. Night one. Markiplier tries to treat his infection. Lucifer cooks his food before putting his fire out. Smart. Goku sees a fire but stays hidden. Ooh, we're gonna have Battle of the Gods. Well, Luc is that blasphemous? Whatever. Scary Brandon passes out from exhaustion. Vegeta, Ryan, Kakashi, and I <laughs> sleep in shifts. Shane receives an explosive from an um from an unknown sponsor. I don't want to actually tie anyone to that. Bro time cries himself to sleep. Older brother's instincts kicking in. I want to make sure he's all right. Josh, Kodak, Chloe, and Obito tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Poison Friend 13 and Billie Eilish run into each other and decide to truce for the night. I didn't want to lose my friend. Cave Town thinks about a home. Cosplay Chris dies from thirst? How do you die that fast? It's the first night. Humans can last about like three days without water. Holy shit. Dream quietly hums. Liam, Zack, and Sam get into a fight. Liam triumphantly kills them both. Holy shit, Liam. Josh is awoken by nightmare. We're proceeding into day two. Bro time overhears Josh and Vegeta talking in the distance. Stay back, Jacob. Don't. Don't engage. Don't engage. Chloe overhears Poison Friend Markiplier talking in the distance. Goku bashes Shane head against a rock several times. Fuck, Goku. No one killed Krillin. Calm the fuck down. Josh questions insanity. I steal from Brandon while he's not looking. The game's a game, Brandon. Game's a game. Kakashi forces Billy Eilish to kill Cave Town and Lucifer, and she refuses to kill, so Kakashi kills her instead. Kakashi means business in this game. Liam begs for Kodak to, ki to kill him. He refuses, keeping Liam alive. Ryan collects fruit from a tree. Obito hunts for other tributes. Dream receives a hatchet from Honey. Arena event. The arena turns pitch black and no one can see a thing. Chloe accidentally makes contact with spiny lethal plant life. Josh survives. While fighting, Markiplier and Dream lose their balance. Both roll down a jagged hillside and die. Vegeta survives. While fighting, Brandon and Liam lose their balance, roll down a jagged hillside and die. Holy shit. Poison Friend survives. Cave Town survives. I accidentally make contact with spiny lethal plant life. Fuck, I'm down. I'm, I'm out. I failed everyone. Goku fail- Oh, I forgot to set his his gender. <laughs> Goku flails his weapon around, accidentally killing Josh. Fuck! This is Ag Ryan accidentally makes contact with spiny lethal plant life while fighting Brotan and Obito. Lose their balance. Roll down Dragon Hill. Lucifer finds and kills Kakashi, who is making too much noise. Kakashi's a ninja, but Lucifer is the devil. Sixteen cannon shots in the distance. Cosplay Chris. Zack, Sam, Shane, Billie Eilish, Chloe, Markiplier, Dream, Brandon, Liam, me, Josh, or other Josh, not potentially unemployed, Ryan, Bro Time. Oh wait, when did what? When did he? I don't. I, what? Obito and Kakashi. See everyone's status. Let's see all the grayed out. Holy shit. There's only one of e each. Oh no. Oh, someone. Oh, in r if this was real, or if, this, if we were taking into account like actual like 
lore in that in the show lucifer would be out for blood just to get this over with there's almost just one of each except goku and vegeta are gonna i bet it's gonna be one of them <laughs> ironically josh defeats vegeta in a fight but spares his life josh what are you doing goku poison friend 13 and kodak cheerfully sing songs together Cave Town starts a fire, Lucifer tends to his wounds. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Trivia's family. Goku kills Lucifer for his supplies. <laughs> Poison Friend 13 gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Cave Town decides not to go to his feast. Codex snaps the Vegeta's neck. Holy shit, Eli, where is this? Where did you get that power? Josh decides not to go to the feast. I would, I would like to say, Cave Town and Josh made the smart decision. It, that'd be dangerous. Day three, Josh, Goku, Poison Friend 13, and Koda hunt for other tributes. Cave Town constructs a shack. So basically, Josh, Goku, Poison, and Kodak are just hunting Cave Town at this point, if you aren't following along. Everyone's her two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Lucifer and Vegeta is everyone's status. Goku has three kills. Kodak has one. Lucifer had one kill when he died. Goku lets Josh into his into her shelter his shelter. Poison Frank loses sight of where he is. Kodak severely injures Cave Town and leaves him to die. Day four. Poison Friend discovers a cave. Josh receives clean water from Raid Shadow Legends. Codex steals from Goku while he isn't looking. Fallen Tributes, Cave Town. We have four. Three of them are actual people. That's it. At least that's good. Night four. <laughs> the four remaining tributes are just sitting there shooting the shit. I had a campfire probably telling ghost stories to lighten the mood before. Hey, guess what? The four of them should try and kill each other after that. Goku defeats Poison Friend in a fight but spares his life. Man, you got out of there with your life. Kodak injures himself. Oh shit. <laughs> Josh dies from hunger. Okay, humans can last like a long time without food. I don't know if you know that. Survival instinct, or survival wise, you could last a long time without food. How does Josh die in five days from hunger? I don't know, but apparently he did. Arena event, a tsunami rolls into the arena. Kodak fatally injures himself on debris. Poison Friend defeats Goku, but throws him in the water to make sure he dies. I think we have a winner. Holy shit. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. One for Josh, one for Eli, one for Goku. The winner is Poison Friend 13 from District 5. Congrats. Congrats, Poison Friend. At least he didn't die early like I did. Boy, that's even better, you won. All right. So we might do another one of these. I don't know uh, what it'll be. I know I'm going to always be in it. Just because my channel. Why would I not? Let me know who you want to see in the next Hunger Games. I'm going to call this series Virtual Hunger Games. I enjoyed doing this. It was fun to see and witness. And also with my knowledge of my friends in that. Being shocked at the events that was going on. Just watching. Uh, and all I have to say is I hope I don't die like a little bitch to a plant. Thank <laughs> you.